Hi guys. So I am pretty sure that I'm live and that you can read my book or that you can see my book. I am just going to pull up the um, thing on my other side as well so I can just see any comments or anything. My name is Sabrina. I am the program associate here at the Whale and Dolphin Conservation. We're a nonprofit that's based out of Plymouth, Massachusetts. And basically, we do a lot of uh, conservation work when it comes to whales. So we're focused on policy, education, and science. And together, we help to kind of um, protect a lot of the whales in our shared environment because whales play a very important role in our world. So, but I'm not going to get into that today. I'm going to be reading a book to you guys. So this is, the book is called Dario and the Whale, written by Cheryl Lawton Malone who is a local author. I believe she actually lives on Cape Cod. So I definitely wanted to do something that is a fun and a local art uh, author as well. It's illustrated by Bistra Maseva. I think I got that right. Um, and so I'm just gonna wait for a few more people to join in. If you guys are joining, I absolutely would love to hear from you guys. So if you can just throw in the comments your name and where you're watching from, I definitely want to see because we really enjoy doing these live streams. And for the most part, we will kind of be cutting down on our live streams. We have two more next week, don't worry. Um, and they're gonna be really, really fun. But, so I wanna hear where you guys are watching from. If you can throw in the comment where you're watching from and your absolute favorite color. So if I were typing in, I would say, hi, my name is Sabrina and my favorite color is purple, even though, I'm wearing a green shirt. We'll see. <laughs> um, but so the story isn't really going to be interactive, but I still really enjoy interacting with you guys. So if you want to throw in a um, some of the comments, I would absolutely love to see that. Otherwise, we'll be jumping into the books. Looks like we have Julie from Framingham. So glad to see you. Well, not really see you. I guess I'm not really <laughs> seeing you <laughs> commenting. <laughs> um, Yeah, so wonderful. If you guys are again just joining in, my name is Sabrina. I work here at the Whale and Dolphin Conservation in our Plymouth, Massachusetts office. That's our North American office. Um, and I am going to be reading you a book today. So hope you have your cuddly little stuffed animal. Mine's over there. Um, or your favorite snuggly book, or sn snuggly book, your favorite snuggly blanket. Um, and let's jump into it. So, Dario and the Whale, written by Cheryl Lawton Malone. So, every spring when the sun wakes up the land, Dario and his mother move to the seashore. Do we have any Cape Cod people from here? Oh, we have some Plymouth, Miami Beach. I'm from Argentina already, so exciting. Every spring, when the sun warms up the sea, so kind of like what it is today, a whale and her new calf swim north to a cool bay. Dario's mother has to work. This year, she is a cook at the Salty Cod. Do you guys like seafood? Be like, yeah, I love seafood. Or like, mm, Sabrina, not a fan. <laughs> I think it depends on where you grew up. The whale is a right whale, or specifically a North Atlantic right whale. She has to swim. She and her calf swim to a bay by the salty cod. On his first day, Dario tries to make new friends. Oi, he calls to the kids on the beach. He kicks a soccer ball, but the kids are playing baseball. Poof. The whale spouts. He chases a school of herring and the herring swim off. 
So I do have to say, just real quick interjection, um, North Atlantic right whales, while there could be some cases of them eating herring, they don't actually normally eat herring. No. From what we know, a lot of the right whales here are eating a small, tiny fish. Uh, I'm sorry, not even a fish, it's a plankton. Um, so they are, it's a specific plankton called copepods. And I know you guys have seen copepods before. And that is because plankton in SpongeBob is modeled after a copepod. So they're little, little tiny, really only about the size of a grain of rice. So they're really, really small. Um, my boss would probably say better because she is the right whale queen, the right whale expert. Um, and so she probably could say if right whales do eat herring, but as far as I know, they prefer copepods, just like we have a favorite food. Dario backs into a sand castle accidentally. Hey, says a girl. The squirrel, hey, Dario says, turning pink. Sorry. The whale bumps a green turtle on purpose. The turtle swims away. Later, Dario runs along the sand. He flies a kite by himself. Perfect kite flying day. The whale has a notched tail. He launches himself up. So do you guys know what this behavior is called? I know it's a little delayed, but if you guys know what the behavior is called, you should throw it in the comments. It's a really, really incredible behavior where a multi-ton animal is literally lifting itself out of the water. And it is called breaching. Dario sees the whale. The whale sees Dario with his kite. That's quite an eye. <laughs> now, just looking at this eye, it kind of looks like the whale has some salt on it or like kind of looks like snow. Well, it's not really snow. Actually, it's a thing called callosities. And my, co my coworker Regina talked a lot about the callosities um, in her in her Facebook live stream, which I believe was last week on North Atlantic right whales. So she dives all into it. It's very cool. And it's how, it's basically rough patches of skin where whale lice lives on it. And it's a, it's a good relationship between them. It doesn't hurt the whale. Um, and it's how scientists are able to identify the individuals. So a scientist could look at the whale that Dario is looking at and know exactly who it is. Wow, Dario shouts. Ma, come look. Now I will say this book has Portuguese in it and I, I'm not, I don't know how to speak Portuguese so I'm not going to make a fool myself. But if you guys can speak Portuguese then you are awesome and you should be reading it. <laughs> Splash, the whale slaps the water with his tail. His mother hurries over. What's going on, Dario? Every day, Dario races to the beach. Every day, the whale is there. When Dario whistles, the whale spouts. Now my coworker, Michelle, talks about it, um, the whale spouting uh, in her live stream, which was on Tuesday. And that whale is actually just breathing out. That whale, it's what it looks like. It's because they have such warm air inside their body that when they breathe out, they can see their air, kind of like on a cold day. And right whales are very special because when they breathe out or exhale, their blow that you can see in the picture is in a V. So that's how we can tell, even by the blow, what kind of species it is. Dario waves and the whale breaches. Dario watches the whale for hours. The whale swims back and forth for hours. See our friend, says the girl who made the sandcastle. Dario nods, yes, yes. I would love to have a whale friend. What do you guys, do you want a whale friend? One day, Dario does not go to the beach. He has a drippy nose. His mother puts him to bed. Boss, he says, but the whale looks for Dario. He waits and waits. Uh-oh, oh, and there's the whale. So this is kind of what, um, when scientists are looking for these right whales, especially they'll fly planes. And if you have ever been in a plane, 
you can sometimes see things pretty well sometimes. So the, the, if I was a scientist, I could see the right whale underneath the water and I know that there's a right whale there. When Dario's nose is dry, he rushes to the shore, looking, hoping with his new friend. They migrate, says the girl. They leave at the end of May, which is about now. No, says Dario. He is my friend. See? What does he see? Dario whistles. The whale breaches. Splash. Dario runs into the water. The whale swims close to shore, closer than ever. Just waves apart. The boy and the whale stay very still, listening and being. Do you have to go, says Dario. The whale blinks his large, dark eye. But you'll come back, right? Dario holds his breath. He waits. He wishes. At last, the whale raises his great notched tail and lets it fall. Whoosh. You guys could have done that with me. <laughs> Okay then, Dario says, see you next year. And that is the tale of Dario and the whale. So this is just a little um, book or a little piece about the story because pretty much all of this um, author used is true information. So North Atlantic right whales, like we talked about in some of our other live streams are actual whales that migrate from Florida and Georgia where they like to breed and have their babies. And then they will bring their babies just like the one that Dario made a friend with up into Cape Cod Bay. So they'll hang out in the spring and it's absolutely incredible to see them. They're a really endangered whale. They estimate there's only about 400-ish, 411 of them left. Um, and then, so they'll start to migrate better up or more into the Gulf of St. Lawrence where they'll spend the, the summer. And they'll try and eat as much as possible. They'll get nice, big and fat. And then they'll head all the way back down. So the author probably, I'm assuming, um, just wanted to learn some more about right whales. She has some great information here and stuff that I actually talked about too. She mentions how they migrate and they come to Cape Cod where we are. They have the colossities or the the whale lice, um, and they also have a baleen of what they're eating. And they even say, for more information of how you can help, check out whale and dolphin conservation. So she even references our organization and I didn't even know that. <laughs> um, and so I am just going to stop this live stream, stop share, it's that face. <laughs> um, and thank you so much for joining guys. I hope you did learn a little bit about that. Um, just a little plug. We, I actually got that from the library because our the local library is pretty awesome. And when I went to look for a whale book, there are so many super cool whale books. So if you have younger kids, um, you can read books like Dario and the Whale or I read a really silly one about a whale in my bathtub, which from a marine biologist aspect probably is not going to happen. <laughs> Do not put whales in your bathtub. Um, but I hope you had a blast with me. Uh, again, my name is Sabrina. I wanna check out some of the comments. If you have any questions, um, please throw them in the comments. I'll try and answer them on the live stream. Um, otherwise we can always get back to you later. But we have another fun two more days next week. Um, and then we're actually gonna be ending our regular Tuesday, Thursday live streams uh, because we're entering into June, which June's gonna be incredible. Please make sure you follow us on social media because we have the New England Whale Festival coming up, which will be um, the 8th, 9th, and the 11th, which will be absolutely incredible. It'll be really, really fun. A lot of virtual events. Um, and then June is Orca Action Month, another really, really fun month of where we're gonna be doing 
weekly crafts. Uh, we're gonna have a trivia night if you're into that. Maybe even host a, a movie. So definitely you guys need to stay tuned because we have some really, really fun stuff planned for June. And I'm pretty excited about it. And <laughs> I hope you guys get excited about it too. Um, so we have, oh, we have some people from Plymouth and Miami Beach. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, great story. We've got Connecticut, um, Monroe, Michigan coming uh, as well. So thank you so much. Uh, lots of people from pretty much all around the United States. I will throw in the comments some of our information about New Anguilla Festival and Orca Action Month coming up because it'll be lots and lots of fun. Otherwise, we have Tuesday, Monica. She's gonna be walking you through. If you were a boater on the ocean, sadly, not on the Great Lakes, you don't have whales in the Great Lakes, but she'll be sharing some really, really good tips on boating around whales. So really important, especially for boaters because you can do it responsibly where you can see the best, um, most natural behaviors of the whales. Otherwise, have a beautiful rest of your Thursday and a safe and healthy Memorial Day. Bye guys. Keep step by three.